So how are you doing? Good, how are you? Good, Excited good. to be here. Oh, well, I'm so excited to have you because I have to say I love shoes, but you clearly took loving <laughs> shoes to a whole new level. I, I, th I think I may love them more, it's possible. So, <laughs> so what is Souls? Uh, we are revolutionizing footwear. Uh, we're using 3D printing to enable custom uh, in every shoe. And we're starting with orthotics and with insoles and really taking a design-centric approach to a product category that I think everybody has largely ignored. But I hope one day that, uh, that we can be the company that truly revolutionizes the industry as a whole. How are you making them custom? Everything starts with an app, right? <laughs> right. We, we, we use that to, uh, to take photos of the person's feet. Um, it's three photos of each foot. Uh, right now, we do it through doctors, but in, uh, in spring, we're going to start doing it direct to consumer, where you could just do this at your home. Uh, we process everything through this magical black box that, uh, that is, is full of <laughs> algorithms. And, uh, and then ultimately, we, we, we print the product out in our factory in Texas and then ship it to you so you can have a perfect fitting shoe. So do people just like stick feet in your face to take uh, yes. pictures of them? Yes, I, uh, I actually, I joke that I've become the foot whisperer <laughs> because not, not only do I look at feet all day, but I hear people's feet stories and you would not believe just how many feet stories people have. We're gonna do that behind <laughs> <ideas. laughs> Okay, that's yeah. amazing. So are you are you working on a like de-smellifier as well? <laughs> we probably should be. I feel, I feel, I feel like this is something that, uh, that, that could be in the pipeline for future in product releases. Yeah, scented insoles. So why did you decide to start this? Uh, um, so when I was a kid, I had to I had to wear these five hundred dollar orthotics, and I felt so guilty because I never wore them, and I just like put them in the closet. So then you know, fast forward twenty five years, and I uh, I was running this three D printing factory, and just saw you know an amazing opportunity to do something something useful with the technology, and I think answer the question that everybody in the industry is asking, which is like, okay, we we've got these printers, and they can make anything, but nobody's making anything interesting. So like, what should we be making with them? And 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 orthotics, insoles, shoes, I mean, it's a really logical next step. That's, you know, logical to you, yeah. maybe not to everybody <laughs> it's else. logical to me. <laughs> you know, I feel like when I think of 3D printing, I think of hard plastic, mm -hmm. you know, designs being printed. Yeah, hot glue gun. Hot glue gun things. style. Chastis. Yeah. But you're actually printing fabric almost, or like different, what, what is it? Well, kind of. I mean, so what we're doing is, is we're, we're changing the parameters of the material based upon, uh, based upon density um, to effectively like mimic other material properties. So like we've designed this area into the heel of the sole that, that acts like a trampoline. So even though it's like a traditionally like more rigid material, um, I love when that. you, when you I walk love on it, yeah, totally. So when you walk on it, it actually, you can feel that, that spring in your step and you can feel that, that suspension. Um, and, and I think things like that, like looking at materials in new ways, is really like what will propel 3D printing to, to where we all want it to go. Yeah, here, show it to me. Absolutely. Me. So you, you can see what we do here, if you see this this bottom area, is uh, we actually, we vary the, the density of the material by creating these, these generative. So it's like a little trampoline. Yeah, exactly. It's these generative hole patterns, and it takes your weight into account. It takes the force levels you experience during whatever activity you're participating in. Um, and it's designed so there's actually an energy return. We worked with a biomechanics lab to develop it and it returns energy with each step to reduce fatigue and just make you have put a little spring in your step. So, so what is typically an issue? Um, so yeah, it, it ranges so widely from like down next to nothing, like twenty cent insoles that are made in uh, made it made in China for like the really cheap shoes, um, to you can see like what Uggs is doing where they have like fur and things like on that. But I, I think the common theme is they're not custom, they're not made for you, they're not supportive. Uh, they don't have what I like to call full contact, where like the entire base of the shoe is actually touching your foot, um, and that's what you need. Like that's what yeah. you need if you actually like want want to get through your day pain free. But I. I I think that the market doesn't quite understand that. So like part of our challenge is educating people about like how proper footwear and how proper biomechanics like can actually do things like reduce knee pain or joint pain or spine pain or like make you get less massages if you want to get less massages or just like enjoy them more. Yeah. Um, and it's it's really like a new way of looking at footwear. So speaking of all of this, what is this? Yeah, absolutely. It's so it's a piece of artwork. I wanna, it, like, it, 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 is, it is definitely a piece of artwork. So we just, uh, we we just launched during Fashion Week this uh, this concept boot. Um, we call it Adaptive. It's uh, it's a 3D printed uh, exoskeleton. It's printed in a rubber material, and then obviously with a leather detailing. And we've got LEDs on the inside, uh, with the idea being that you could actually uh, you could like take a selfie and then effectively like match the color of your shoe to your to your outfit, um, combining all of oh these God. different components of technology. Um, but we worked with it was part of uh, and it was this NBA Fashion Week All Stars. Yeah. All -Stars 
yeah. our show is like new wearable technology and like where is the industry going and when you talk about sports and you talk about oh, like yeah. the potential for 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 this kind of for technology you know, looking at performance looking at real-time data collection looking at passing that back to the user to help make informed decisions looking at like things like how can we like calculate like risk of injury you know during you know a basketball game and, and decrease yeah. that there are there are so many opportunities well, and you're and saying there's a trampoline in the heel I mean yeah, absolutely. that would be helpful <laughs> for a basketball totally. player